Hello guys, it's Dale here and today I would like to talk about the British Pound US Dollar. Uh, this is actually a second video I'm doing this week for this pair and um, the setup which I'm going to show you today is pretty much the similar as I already showed you. If you remember, there was the setup from a Monday, from video from Monday and that setup was the rejection setup based on uh, those volumes which you can see within this strong rejection of lower prices, right? This was the level. By the way, it's still active. The price haven't reached that level yet. So there still haven't been a pullback. So that level at 35.45, it's still active. And what I would like to show you today is a level which looks very similar based on the same logic, based on the rejection setup. Again, there was a rejection of lower prices in here. And within this rejection, there is a significant volume cluster right there. Maybe if I move the profile a bit, it will be better visible, but I think it's nicely visible already. this one. What those volumes tell us is that when there was this sell-off, then heavy volumes were traded there, most of them at this place. And what happened next was that the trend changed and there was a strong buying activity. This indicates that the buyers who changed the direction of the price are most active in here, right there, where the volume cluster was, right? So this appears to be a significant place for strong buyers. And those buyers will most likely want to defend this zone in the future, right? That's the whole logic behind this rejection setup. I call it the rejection setup because it's based on a rejection like this or like this, right? So that's the logic. And when there is a pullback at some point in the future, I know that the price is currently pretty far from it, but it doesn't really matter. The pullback can happen sometime next week or the week after. It doesn't really matter. But when the price makes it back, to 3578, this is where the volume cluster within the rejection was, then I think that the buyers will still want to defend this zone to add some more to their longs and to push the price upwards from there again. Right? So that's why I think this is a strong support. If the price continues downwards, Maybe after the pullback, I don't know. Hopefully after uh, this reaction, if it continues downwards and hits the second support, then again, I'll expect, I expect a reaction like this. All right. So yeah, those are the rejection setups on the British pound. By the way, rejection setup is one of my three main volume profile setups that I like to trade. And if you guys would like to learn all there is about my trading setups and about volume profile trading, then what I recommend is visiting my website. This is it, trader-dale.com. And the next best step is go to trading course and tools. So you click that, you scroll down a bit and what I recommend is getting the Elite Pack. The Elite Pack is an educational pack that will teach you everything there is about trading with volume profile. And there is a video which you can watch that will show you everything that's included in the Elite Pack. In short, the Elite Pack includes a video course. It includes my day trading and swing trading levels that you'll be getting each day. It also includes volume profile indicators that I developed and also a couple of bonuses. Now, at the top of that, it also includes free tech support for Elite Pack members. And what that means is that our tech support team will set up NinjaTrader 8 platform for you with all my indicators 
they'll load up my trading workspaces, they'll connect you to data feed and they'll do it completely free of charge as that's the part of the service that we provide to the Elite Pack members. All right, so that's about it. That's about the Elite Pack and that's also about this video. I hope you guys liked it. I hope you found it useful and I'll be looking forward to seeing you next time in some next video or in our members area. And until then, happy trading.